Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hello, everyone. To all of my new subscribers and new uh, family members, welcome. And to my tribe and family at large, welcome back, y'all. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video. Yes, indeed. And y'all know every time we drop a video, I want to always mention our Thursday night live streams. This is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness. Y'all know Thursday night live streams, revelation, conversation. Come on. It's jam packed. The chat is lit. Come on. All you got to do is read the comments under the Thursday night live streams. You will see just how the Lord comes in and blesses us. This is where we get the meat of the healing to wholeness, okay? So you don't want to miss that. Jump in the chat, grab a snack, come on back. Invite about 15 folks to come on out with you. Come early so you don't miss the roll call. I want to say hey to you, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yes, five. Can you say one, two, three, four, five? Okay, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And y'all know every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus. All right? If you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button. All right? Hit that like button hit that like button and the goal of the day is always 2.1k plus 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 somebody paid it forward for you i want you to pay it forward for someone else okay hit that like button for me y'all 2.1k that's not hard for us all right y'all let's jump into the topic of this video okay i want to talk about this because let me tell you something when you spend time with the father and you commune with him and you make yourself available you know, yes, Father, I'm listening. You know, he will talk to you. Drop revelation in your spirit. I want to talk to y'all about some revelation that I got about these birds, okay? So the narcissist, their poor judgment will always cause them to lose, okay? The best things in their, the best things in their lives, and that's including you. Okay, their poor judgment, you know, the 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 lack of 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 wisdom. Let me say that the lack of wisdom, but they have very poor judgment. You know, they are and they, they don't have the ability of foresight. Now, they can manipulate and they can understand how to do that futuristically, uh, gaslighting, uh, projection, blame shifting, all of that. But one thing that we have to understand about narcissists is narcissists are not wise people. Okay. And why do I say that? Why do I say they're not wise people? Because wisdom only comes from God. Okay. And so wisdom is a gift from above. So in order to have that gift, you have to be connected to God. And in order to be connected to him, you need, and you can have the, you, you, people, some people are born with the gift of wisdom, right? And the gifts of the Lord are without repentance, but you do need Holy Spirit to activate that thing. You know what I'm saying? You need, you need Holy Spirit to really be able to dig in the deep depths and to walk in the anointing of wisdom. You understand what I'm saying? So you can know some things, you know, you can figure out some things, but most narcissists, because they cut themselves off from true repentance, they cut themselves off from a true relationship with the Father, with Christ, you will notice that they have, uh, they can manipulate. They can have some, a form of common sense. We're going to talk about that, but they have no wisdom. All right. So it, so what are we, what are we talking about? It causes them to lose all of the best things in their lives. Okay. So here's, this is how this works. Narcissists, you don't have to worry about a narcissist. Um, messing up anything good in their lives or if you feel like they've gotten a supply that the supply is going to take them to the next level listen if that supply has half a brain because let's let's be clear they don't leave you for for another person especially if you were grade a supply all right they don't leave you for another person i talked about this on another video they actually leave you for themselves and they they actually shelf you 
Let me just say that. It's a shelfing. They shelf you for themselves in that toxic cycle. But when we're talking about the best things in their lives, like jobs, children, you, you know, things that will help them go to the next level, things that will help the, help them enter the realm of next level living, into the realm of productivity, creativity. Narcissists, see the thing about poor judgment, poor judgment and you being cut off from the father because of your reprobate mentality, because that's what you're dealing with, with a narcissist. This is why they could not hold on to you. See, they in order to hold on to you, they needed wisdom to know how to love you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting ready to teach right here. Y'all hit that like button. Let's go. In order to hold on to a person like you, they needed wisdom to understand how to love you. And how do I know that? Because the Bible says this. I'm talking to, the, to uh, all my ladies out there right here on this point. But I'm going to talk to my fellas here in a minute too. The Bible says that men should dwell with women according to knowledge. That's the scripture in the Bible. Go check it out for yourself. Now, what but what narcissist is getting ready to go uh, dwell with a woman according to knowledge? They're going to dwell with you according to ma manipulation, gaslighting. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. They're going to dwell with you according to manipulation, gaslighting, lying, cheating. That's just, that's about the extent of how they're going to uh, dwell with a woman. You know, the male narcissist, right? The female narcissist is not going to do, is, is not going to study. You know, they're not going to try to nurture you kings out there, you fellas. They're not going to learn how, they're not going to to study, to watch you, to see what you love, you like. See, uh, the, the father has to give them because of the essence of who you are, the greatness that you carry and the brightness that you are. In the, in the realm of the spirit. They have to have revelation and wisdom as to how to love you, how to nurture you, and how to care for you. Remember now, you're not just any old supply. A narcissist does, they, they lack that. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. A person cannot give you what they don't have. It just doesn't exist. Okay. So if they don't have wisdom, these birds are going to have to fall back. Here's, here's the lesson right here. Here's revelation. They are going to have to fall back to common sense, but that doesn't work with you. Oh, I want y'all to help me. Y'all hit that like button. Watch this. But common sense doesn't work with you. Why? Remember I told y'all on, on, on another video, you are not common. Oh, y'all wait. I'm getting ready to tie it up. I'm getting ready to tie it up. I'm getting ready to tie it up. You are not common. So how is common sense, which is carnal sense, oh, I'm teaching which is carnal sense, how is that going to work on an individual that is gifted and embodied and, and endowed with the Holy Spirit? It's not going to work because you are, you, listen, you belong to God. Yes. So common sense doesn't work with an uncommon individual. In order to love a person like you, and what you represent and what you bring into their lives, watch this, you need uncommon sense. And what is uncommon sense? Uncommon sense means wisdom. Yes. Yes, y'all, that was that revelation that I got. Come on here, somebody. You need The narcissist doesn't have that. So this is why they, and, and what happens is because of that, the common sense, which is carnal sense, okay, that's, that's the world's kind of sense, all right? The other part, the other side of that, if they can't operate in common sense, which we know a lot of narcissists, they are great manipulators, but we've even seen ourselves like this one don't even have common sense. This backwards walking giraffe is just cuckoo. Okay? Just, I mean, for lack of better, a selectively stupid. A special kind of crazy. I said it. I said it. You sitting there looking at him like, just very poor judgment. Okay? Because the other side of common sense, which is carnal sense, 
Guess what the other side of that, y'all? Guess what it is? Guess what the other side of that is? It's stupidity. Okay? So if they're not operating in common sense, then they're operating in foolishness and stupidity. How many times, drop a comment below, did you see the narcissist operating in stupidity and foolishness? Probably about 85% of the time that you were with them. Because see, demons, because, and now let's be clear, demons do, dark entities they have they have a they have a way that they uniform you they have a uniformity about them and the way that they want to control a vessel but the reason you never could understand the actions of a narcissist is because of the foolishness of the entities that govern them yes because it's just not natural and what do i teach you all if it's not natural then it's what supernatural Exactly. This is why a lot of times y'all would sit there and look at that bird like I just know good and well. I know goodness well that this this clown did not just do that. <laughs> You're trying to figure out what is happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, did this clown just yes? A lot of times you would find yourself really questioning, did they even have anything inside of that thing on top of their neck? between their ears i said it yes this is why their poor judgment will cause them to lose all of the best things that they have in their lives including you because you come along with all of the best things that they could ever have and they will never ever be able to appreciate it remember this because you are dealing, when a narcissist is dealing with you, they are trying to deal with you with common sense or carnal sense, okay? When you are not a common person, how can you be common when you belong to God? Everything about you is uncommon, okay? Uncommon. So in order to for a person to love you and to understand you, they need uncommon sense, which is wisdom. Remember that. Remember that. Look, I need to make a t-shirt. I require maturity and wisdom. Okay? That part. Y'all smash that like button. Send this video to whoever you think that can use this information. But I want to drop that revelation on y'all. All right, y'all? So y'all have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Be real good to yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. All right, family? I love you all. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.